Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is transfusion therapy. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and uh, share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit our website which is www.diseasesintreatment.com. Now I come to the topic, transfusion therapy. You know, when you get a blood transfusion, you receive blood uh, via an intravenous line, you know. And the blood transfusions are sometimes necessary after an injury or surgery, uh, uh, which causes a high amount of blood loss, you know. And uh, some people need uh, regular transfusion due to the medical conditions such as hemophilia or cancer you know and it's called transfusion therapy you know you know uh, prior to any blood transfusion the lab tests uh, must ensure that the donor blood is uh, compatible with the receiver's blood you know and the transfusion therapy can take place in a hospital or the outpatient transfusion center and the donated blood is uh, thoroughly screened for an infection or other that may put you at risk, you know, although serious complications can happen and the procedure is considered safe, you know, at the moment, you know, because there's a lot of advancements in this uh, field, you know, and uh, now it's uh, before uh, transfer, you the blood, the donor blood is tested for all the infections and the sexually transmitted diseases and uh, other stuff you know and uh, the second question is uh, who needs this transfusion therapy you know sometimes illness can make you it difficult for your body to produce healthy blood you know and uh, some conditions that may require transfusion therapy include like anemia you know or cancer or hemophilia or kidney diseases you know liver diseases severe infection uh, sickle cell anemia sickle cell disease you know and uh, thrombocytopenia you know so these are the conditions in which mostly uh, blood uh, this therapy is needed you know transfusion is needed you know you know the next question is about uh, the blood grouping or blood matching you know uh, matching the blood types you know so first we'll come to the blood types yeah like we have different blood types according to the uh, antigens in our blood cells there are four main groups o a b and ab you know now some also have a substance called rh factor in our red blood cells and uh, those who have it are rh positive and those who don't have known as rh negative so the group blood groups are then O positive and O negative, A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, AB negative, EB, AB positive, you know. And, uh, you know, the people who have uh, O negative, they are called uh, universal donors, you know, because the O negative blood is safe for almost everyone to receive, you know. So this is universal donor, you know. And uh, the type O uh, negative blood is used in emergency situations when there is uh, no time to test the person's blood type, you know. So in that case, uh, uh, the O negative uh, blood is used, you know. And uh, the people with the type AB plus are the universal receivers, recipients, you know. So because they can uh, receive uh, almost any type of the blood transfer. You know? So the O negative is uh, the universal donor and the AB positive universal receive or recipients, you know. Now, like the negative uh, blood group can be given to the positive, but positive cannot be given to the negative, you know. So, if you put the O on the top and then two A and B on the middle and the bottom is AB, you know, so which means O can be given to 
this is O. O can be given to A and B and to AB as well. And then A can be given to AB and B can be given to AB. So what does it mean is that uh, O negative can be given to like uh, anyone but O positive can be given to A positive, B positive or AB positive. You know? And the same way the A negative can be uh, given to uh, like uh, AB negative or AB positive you know. But A positive can only be given to AB positive. And in case of B negative it can be given to itself B negative or B positive or AB positive uh, sorry uh, yeah if it's negative it can be given to ab positive you know but negative uh, it can be given to only ab negative you know uh, but if it's ab positive it can be given to ab positive so uh, ab uh, cannot be given to other blood groups you know so it's only recipient or it can be given to the same blood group you know so you know even though we don't all have the same blood type our blood is made up of the some components like blood consists of solid and the liquid parts and the solid parts contain like red and white cells and the platelets and the red blood cells transport oxygen white blood cells fight against infections and the platelets help to clot the blood you know and the liquid parts are known as plasma, you know, it contains water, proteins and salts, you know. And if you are receiving transfusion therapy, you may only need certain parts of blood that you need, you know. For example, people with a sickle cell disease may only need the red blood cells, you know. And someone with a leukemia may require platelet transfusion only. Okay. So the preparation for the transfusion therapy, like uh, serious complications can occur if the donor and the patient uh, blood are not compatible, you know. And uh, you will need a simple uh, blood draw after which the sample will be sent to the lab for testing, you know. And uh, be sure to tell your doctor if you have uh, had the reactions in response to the transfusion before, you know. And uh, uh, the poss if possible, ask questions prior to the day of procedure to your doctor, you know. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. The next video will be about the transfusion therapy procedure, you know. So keep watching.